I get asked all the time, where do I find my wraps? So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you some of my favorite ones and talk you through what sort of wraps that I use for the different scenarios and setups in my studio when I'm working with newborns. I've got, obviously, quite a collection here, and I know when you're first starting out, it does take a while to build that collection because it is an investment in your business. So when you are first starting out and your budget is limited, I suggest sticking with colors and tones that you love, that you know resonate with you and suit your style and brand. And when you are starting to buy them, my advice is to look for nice and long wraps. I roughly sort of go for wraps that are anywhere from one to, you know, even some, at sometimes two meters long, but around one to one and a half meters long. And when it comes to the width, they're all going to vary in width depending on where you're buying them from. So you can see here, these ones are about 40 centimeters wide. That there for me is a really good width in terms of wrapping a baby, whether it be to swaddle them, to comfort them if they're unsettled or just needing to, to be comforted or if I'm going for a bit more of a decorative wrap as well. So about one to one and a half meters long and about 40 centimeters wide is my go-to. But they are going to all come in different shapes, styles, textures, materials. And it's basically just knowing which wraps you're going to use for, for the different setups. So for example, if I am going to wrap a baby to make sure that they are comfortable and I am comforting them in terms of being unsettled or just wide awake, I'm going to look for something that is really soft and it's going to be nice and stretchy. So you can see this one here, it's very much like a t-shirt material, actually very similar to the t-shirt that I'm wearing here. It's got a great stretch in it and it is very, very soft. So you can see when I pull it, it's gonna give me a great amount of stretch when I'm pulling that around a baby to comfort them, to hold them nice and tight and secure. You always want to make sure though that when you're wrapping a baby with a very stretchy wrap that you don't pull it too tight because that can obviously restrict their airways and put pressure on their little bones that you don't want to do. So always make sure that you can put your fingers in underneath the wrap and give it a little bit of tug so that they do have somewhat of um, you know a little bit of space to move around in freely underneath that swaddle. When I'm using wraps to decorate with in terms of um, lining some of my props and things like that, I go with something that has a little bit of detail to it and a little bit more texture. I love frayed edges. I've got a very sort of organic, um, natural look with my, my particular style of photography. So I go with uh, more organic materials that are going to match that style. And the colors that I like are those, you know, those really soft muted tones. But when I'm working with something like this, it doesn't have a lot of stretch. So it is more of a decorative wrap that I would place possibly over the top of a more stretchy long wrap if I'm doing, say, for example, the potato sack or something like that. Now, this is another style of wrap that I like, and it's a more of a cheesecloth wrap, and you can see it's quite long. So it's again about a meter to a meter and a half long, and it is a little bit wider. And this is because they're very stretchy. So this particular type of wrap is something that I would do, say for example, my pretzel style of wrap, or um, a basic sort of back pose wrap with pulling that nice and tight around the baby to keep them in position. And the, the texture of that photographs beautifully and the material itself to touch is really soft. It's something that I'm always looking for as well because sometimes um, different wraps and the different types of materials could potentially irritate the baby's skin. So always make sure that you look for really soft materials that aren't going to affect the baby. Something like this, and these were pretty much the original wraps that came out when newborn photography wasn't as popular as what it is today. They're a rayon wrap and they are extremely stretchy. So these can be used for lots of different things. The one downside to this type of wrap is that when you have it uh, wrapped directly on the baby's skin, that this can actually mark the skin and it can take a few minutes for the skin to sort of lose that, that pattern in, in terms of the redness where it's been quite tight on their little thighs and arms. So I use those for my rice paper wrap. I think they're great and they're also great when you're doing things like the potato sack as well. Now, 
There are a lot of different prop vendors that sell wraps, so it's finding one obviously that's located close to you and making sure that they've got a lot of variety in terms of colours and things like that. This particular wrap though, I found this at Kmart. I paid $5 for it and it is super soft, it's got great texture and it's got a little bit of stretch to it as well. So I can use that as a decorative piece or to wrap around um, the baby in many different types of wrapping styles. So it is all about finding the right ones for you. And if you can, get out to some of the trade shows in your area and have a look, touch and feel all the different materials. But also keep your eye out in different stores. When you come across ladies' scarves or you go to a fabric store, you can often have your own pieces of material cut, especially something like this, which is just an off-cut of t-shirt material. And it works perfectly. So, have fun with finding the right uh, wraps for your studio and come up with some great wrapping styles and techniques and practice as much as you possibly can.